All right, enter your pattern. How do I enter this? Seems like they're entering it with... Are those arrows or stars? Can't even tell. Let's try asterisks first. I don't know. Oh, okay. They do want control Z for, for arrows. This is bizarre. I don't know. Okay, doesn't know what that means. Oh, I see the... This is like a return to go to the next line, maybe? Okay, doesn't know what to make of what we're putting in. Are there no instructions here? I don't know if this is going to be a doable game. I can't really make much of what's going on with this. Um, let's look at the source code. Okay, yeah, there are definitely no instructions. Yeah, I still don't know what sort of input it wants. Hmm. It is Conway's Game of Life. Yes, that's right, Nightcall. You, are you aware of it? Dots and spaces? So if dots is in periods, we could try periods. and spaces. No, that didn't work. Oh, so you played it. Alright. Do you have any idea of what sort of input we might need to use here? I mean, definitely sounded elaborate based on the description, but... Uh... The sample run was very unhelpful. In fact, they were actually able to get... How do I, how do I get hard returns? I don't even know how to do that. Should we bring up... Let's bring up the source code again, see if anyone has any ideas. Over what it's expecting. So this is doing the... I, I understand this dim line is putting printing out the grid. These are the coordinates. Oh, so maybe I see. Maybe we have to enter it in coordinate form. They have the different axes here. So I typed in um, just some simple coordinates and just said redo from start. Oh, I have to type done. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So that's how we—that's how we're actually giving it our pattern. So do we know what what key, what sort of characters to input? Are they stars or are the control Z's, the arrows, the right arrows? Let's see what it makes of what we've done. Okay, there it's generating something. Population 15, population 9, 5. Okay, we've each, maybe, it looks like we reached a stable population of 5. How many generations does it run through? Is it just infinite? Looks that way. Stop after 100 or just keeps on going infinitely? Nope, keeps on going. Unlikely infinite? Well, the, it's very stagnant at 5, so I'm not sure. I mean, do, what is our goal, too? Do we want to have a, <clears throat> a growing population? 
Maybe it'll go to 999. I mean, I just put in something random just to see how this works. Yeah, the pattern is stable. That could be a goal. Maybe we should do one of each. They describe different scenarios. So we've done the stable pattern. Um, <clears throat> what were the other patterns they described? There's the case where the society dies out. Maybe that's only the only other. Is there one where it just grows? Yeah, maybe. In a few cases, the society eventually dies out. Although this may not happen until after a great many generations. Most starting patterns either reach stable figures that cannot change, or patterns that oscillate forever. Okay, so maybe we want an oscillate. Maybe there are three different scenarios. We want the uh, the stable one, the oscillating forever, and the one that dies out. Those sound like the three possible possible um, possible scenarios we can get. I don't know. Should we just have this run till nine ninety nine? I don't know if this is according to the rules. Um, Two or three neighboring counters survives for the next generation. I mean, how would this ever change, though? Where is the source code? Um, yeah, I can, I can put it in a basement if you guys want. Yeah, that would be a lot of paper, definitely. Maybe we'll just go to 500. I, I think this is stable here. We have the stable one. Yeah. Alright, so let's... Can we just kill it, or...? I just have to close the program. It's just gonna run infinitely. Get yeah, hit 500. Alright, that's it. Okay, let's just do, a, I guess, a crazy pattern. Let's see what happens when we just do a chock full of these guys. Experiment. Oh, look at that. Diamond, from circle to diamond. There's like an eye shape, vertically. Looks like a TIE Fighter. Some sort of ordering zeros. Okay, this looks pretty oscillating. This one looks cool. <laughs> see how this one changes over time. Looks an like X-Men logo. Maybe a Space Invader there. Okay, now it seems like it's gonna... Something's gonna happen here. So yeah, she gets some nice symmetry at this one. It's also slowing up the processing, having to go through this. Are we getting looping now? Population 60. 84. Is it going to get bigger and bigger? No, nope, down to 60 again. So it all depends on the configuration. 78. Oh, nice, Nicholas. Very cool. Oh, there's kind of like a flower pattern. Six. Ninety-two. Now it's gonna, it's really uh, working on the processor there to figure out all of the different futures of each one of them. One hundred and twelve invalid. Oh, because we probably we went beyond the twenty-four by seventy grid probably. So it's gonna. Oh no, it's still going though. So it's just going with what, whatever things it has. Yeah, it definitely takes a lot longer. 
But I think we probably achieved the um, oscillating scenario. So the only other scenario I think left to see would be the one that dies out. Which probably should be easy to do, what if we just did one? Based on the rules, if we just had one starting out, right? Um, yeah, each counter with one neighbor or none dies from isolation. So if we only did like one or two to start with, they would die. But that would be very interesting to see, but... We would still technically all see oh, the three different types of scenarios. Which um, generation are we in? 39. Should we try to go to generation 50? I guess we'll go to generation 50. Yeah, it kind of almost looks like a that looks like a alien with its hands on its hips or something. Maybe like a Hello Kitty right there. <laughs> Some pretty fun art here. Yeah, we'll let it run until Generation 50. This, this is Generation 43. I'm glad that I thought we were gonna. This is gonna be more like a board game where we're gonna have to calculate what would happen to each of the pieces and go against the second player. Which could be, by the way, there's another game after this, Life Two, which is for two players. Is that the uh, Colorado Rapids game, Rush? Looks like a rabbit superhero. Anthropomorphized. Alright, three more generations. Let's see. Uni boss. Yeah, it seems early for the MLS to have started, right? It's like two people looking down at each other or something. From profile. Alright, last one. There you go. Alright, cool. Alright, let's try one more. Um, so, with only one neighbor, it'll die. So, what if we just did like a straight line of ten? Are they all just gonna die out in the first generation? Probably. Nine. Oh, oh, what the hell? Hmm. Okay, that didn't work the way I thought it was going to. So I thought if they only had one neighbor. Oh, but the ones in the middle had two neighbors, that's why. And if they have two neighbors, then they survive. Got it. So now you're gonna see. see all of this run amok. Well, I don't think it was the diagonal, it was the fact that the ones in the middle had up, had neighbors to the top and bottom. So they survived. What I should have done is just done two dots and that's it. And they would have died out. Right, yep, yep, got that sprint. Definitely, is this just alternating between the two? Yeah, so now this is one is just alternating between the uh, crosses and the circles. So that's kind of a neat. We, we reach stabilization, but in an interesting alternating fashion. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's try another one. We want them to all die out. So if I did something like Try that, they should die out. 
Yep. <laughs> all right, there we go. They all died after starting Generation 2. Okay, so I believe that is it for the game of life by Clark Baker. Program by Clark Baker from John Conway. Uh, we saw the three different scenarios. Death, stabilization, oscillation. 